Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. There's a new premium ship out, and, um, well, <laughs> of course there is. And you've been asking quite a bit to get my opinion on this thing. So, here we are. This is the Jean Bart, the tier 9 premium, fresh out of the crate, uh, French battleship. Now, the original Jean Bart was a Richelieu class battleship, and she wasn't quite finished by the time the Germans were very much finished with uh, steamrolling the French at the outbreak of the Second World War. So she was evacuated to Northern Africa, having only one turret and only marginal uh, ammunition storages and AA and everything else was still very much in the outfitting stage. Now, the British and the French were under the mistaken idea that, well, the German would be interested to take over the remains of the French Navy. So they tried to sink them, which the French weren't, weren't very happy about. Uh, and it's really one of these more unfortunate episodes and misunderstandings during, during that time. But uh, she came under attack from an American battleship, the USS Massachusetts, which is a South Dakota class battleship, uh, kind of somewhere between the North Carolina and the Iowas. And uh, she was, well, raining down quite a bit of shells onto the Jean Bart. And the Jean Bart got really lucky that she actually didn't have all her ammunition on board. Because she did get a couple of armor-piercing shells that uh, detonated in where her, where her ammunition storage would have been. And that would have bloated, blown the powder magazine and done the ship in. But in the state she was in, she was able to return fire for a little bit. And uh, even though she got a lot of holes shot into her... She was eventually able to be salvaged and completed after the war. I think she only had like one turret at the time. Her AA was dismounted and used for, for port defense and all these kind of things. So she did get a bit of a beating, but she actually eventually survived and was completed after the war and uh, still had a bit of service life. So getting back to the game, um, this is a Richelieu class battleship, which means she has the uh, super firing Twin, uh, twin quadruple main turrets that the Richelieu has as well. Uh, she's a tier 9 premium battleship, which uh, obviously brings us to the very question that's on everybody's mind, how does this thing compare to the Richelieu herself, which is a tier 8 premium battleship? Well, um, the Jean Bart is extremely similar to the Richelieu in that she has... Um, well, how do I put this? <laughs> She's, she's not particularly well armored, neither is the Richelieu. Uh, they are fast, very fast battleships. They were inten intended to counter the uh, uh, Littorio uh, class battleships from the Italians, so the Roma. Uh, she's quick. She's not quite as maneuverable as the Richelieu, out of, uh, out of the box. The guns are exactly the same as you have on the Richelieu. The 380mm uh, 1935 in two quadruple turrets. They were pretty good at tier 8, um, not German battleship 380s, but uh, still pretty decent. She gets actually a pretty good set of secondaries, with uh, three triple turrets firing high explosive at a very decent range. The only problem with the secondaries, obviously, is that, um, and that is, again, this is the exact same thing as you have on the Richelieu, the secondaries are back here. So they can't shoot forward, because the superstructure is in the way. They can shoot sideways and rearwards. Other than that, um, they are actually pretty good. So if you're kiting away from something in a Richelieu and running away from, like, from a destroyer, or if you're in a destroyer chasing one of these things, there are um, nine very angry 150mm barrels staring at you. She also gets the auto-secondaries. And uh, together, that's actually a relatively potent close-range uh, armament she has. But again, this being a Richelieu class, uh, the main thing is that you can go bow in and get all your eight guns firing. Uh, in terms of AA, she is slightly different from the Richelieu. She has a slightly better uh, small caliber AA with a slightly better range. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, it's extremely comparable. The surface detection is a little bit worse than on the Richelieu. So, what? Why? <laughs> What's the point of having a ship that, for all intents and purposes, is a Richelieu at tier 9? Well, there's one distinct difference, and it's when we look here. 
we get the Rapid Reload 3 on the Jean Bart. The Richelieu doesn't get that. She only gets the Engine Booster. So the Jean Bart gets a ship skill that with a relative captain skill, respective captain skills means she can um, have her reload time three times in a battle for about 15 seconds, which means you get round about two extra salvos off. Um, that's it, <laughs> really. Now, here's the problem with this. Um, if we, uh, let, let's, let's put a bit of a filter on and let's say we want to look at tier nine battleships. Uh, so just bear with me and let's let's go through the tier 9 battleships. We've got the Iowas who have the 406 millimeters. So that's the Missouri because it's the same thing. We've got the Izumo which has got 410s. We've got the Musashi which got the 460s but then the Yamato's uh, guns. We've got the Lions which got 420s. We've got the Freddy with the 46s. Um, and we've got the Jean Bart with 380s. There's actually another ship in here that's got the 380s at uh, tier 9, and that's the Alsace. Now the difference being that the Alsace has three quadruple turrets instead of two, <laughs> as you have in the Jean Bart. So if you look at the Alsace from the front, you basically have the same thing. Plus you just got an extra turret and no reload booster behind it. Um, you get into tier 10 battles with this thing, and I found that if she's not top tier, if she's top tier, she's a... I mean, the Richelieu is an extremely good battleship at tier 8. If she's top tier and she gets into a mainly tier 8 battle, she can do very well. If she gets into a tier 10 battle, there's a whole different ballpark. And even in tier 9 battles, she actually struggles to do any significant amount of damage with these 380 mils. Uh, plus, she doesn't have the greatest amount of armor, so even when you're bow in... You have to, you got to actually be really careful with this ship because you can be citadel from the front relatively easily by the calibers that you're seeing around tier 9 and 10. If you get hit by Yamato or Musashi shells, they go straight through. So, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's, let's, let's take a quick look at the equipment that I've set her up with. Uh, the, I actually kind of would, I, I kind of would like um, a secondary build on a Jean Bart. Uh, with uh, the sorry with the secondary reload mod but um not really feeling it because mostly the first half to two thirds of a battle you spend bow in tucked in next to an island somewhere and rain down um rain down armor piercing from long range which is why i've i've chosen the uh the precision mod which he really needs because these um these uh, quadruple turrets are not super accurate. And that is also historically somewhat correct because they had problems with these things, such that um, one gun firing would get the other one slightly out of alignment, such that they were um, actually quite atrocious until they had figured that out. The second slot uh, is a question, is a matter of contestion really, because um, I know that a lot of people like to use the propulsion mod and I would like as well. The problem is that these things are about as flammable as German battleships. You get burned down to no degree and you are in tier 9 which means you you you, um, you face things like Worcesters and that's not fun <laughs> and tier 10 carriers. Um, so I kind of stand by my setup that I also have in the Richelieu that yes I would absolutely love to have the propulsion mod in order to um, you know uh, move around quicker and move forwards and backwards quicker, but the deck protection mod in the end for me is more useful uh, Third slot easy question the steering gear mod 2 and remember she is a tiny bit less maneuverable than the Richelieu because reasons <laughs> uh, What captain have I stuck in this ship? Uh, I've put it I've put it a tier 10 a level 10 captain in here um, just because I, I really wanted the Master Reloader skill to kick in, because that is something that is absolutely essential, because that's really the only gimmick that she has over the Richelieu at Tier 8, just that the Richelieu gets into Tier 7 battles, and this thing gets into Tier 10 battles. Uh, you have the obvious choices at 1, 2, and 3, and 4, more or less. Uh, I've got the Fire Supremacy in 5 to get an extra Rapid Reload, which you need, because you're in... Um, again, this is really the only thing she's got going for her. I've got Generalist and uh, Fully Prepared, because that's pretty much what makes sense. Uh, extinguisher, I can 
thoroughly recommend, even though Adrenaline Rush would have been nice for kind of late game rushes and, and um, close, like when you actually get close range and dirty. But um, given how easy she is to set on fire. I've got the close, quarter com close quarters combat expert because I find that the secondaries and the auto secondaries when it comes to uh, firing at destroyers are not quite as precise as I'd like them to be. And this helps out a little bit. But um, all three here would be a valid choice. So you could choose the engine overload because she does get the engine boost, which gives you a prolonged, um, a prolonged use of it. The, uh, the cooldown isn't really that important because you only have two charges of it anyway. But um, uh, Demolition Expert is kind of the default choice for non-German battleships here at this, uh, this tier. And yes, the Master Reloader is absolutely necessary. Now, I haven't tried this thing out with the APCS. But uh, again, like I said, the guns, the 380s were decent at tier 8. They were good at tier 8. The Richelieu is a very, very good tier 8 battleship. But... Um, at tier 9 against other battleships, at tier 9 and 10 battleships, she does struggle. And the Richelieu gets into tier 9 battles, but only one third of the time statistically, whereas this thing gets into tier 9 and 10 battles a lot more than that. Uh, so uh, I have put the historical camo on, and that's always a sure sign that I've actually been struggling to make this ship really work well. Uh, does does that help? Yes. She Again, she does have a relatively low health pool, so you do need to be conservative, and 4% hit points is, is very welcome. It also extends the firing range a bit and uh, gives us better dispersion, which again is something we absolutely need. The torpedo damage reduction, yeah, it's, it's all right, but um, you, you, usually you can deal with destroyers relatively easily in, in a Richelieu or in a John Bart, because you can... Literally just point your nose at them, load the high explosives, and um, well, blow them out of the water. Even though the high explosive isn't great on these guns, and you only got eight of them, but uh, still, it's a thing you can do. So, let's uh, get into a battle, and I'll describe a little bit what I'm talking about. We are in, we are top tier in this battle. There's an Izumo on the enemy team, let's see, that's uh, another tier 9. And a couple of cruisers and three destroyers. So, not too many things to shoot at. But um, uh, we're playing Cage on Domination, which is interesting because uh, so the, the Jean Bart and the Richelieu class in general, they are very good at holding positions, but they're also very good at exploiting positions due to their speed. So if you can run down a flank and hold down something from a, from a, from a, from a good angle, that's the thing. So we're going we're gonna to head over to, to A. And um, uh, yeah. Okay, so the team says A and B. Now observe the communications going on here. This is actually quite fun, uh, quite fun to watch. So I'm, I'm gonna get up to top speed. It's no use using the speed booster before, um, before you get it up to top speed. You see that he's pinging, he's pinging the cruiser who's kind of heading towards C, and telling him, no, nope, go, go there, go to B. You know what? What are you doing over in C? So this is a good, this is kind of a good uh, strategy. We know that there's no destroyer in A because our, car, our Benson just capped it. Uh, now I'm I'm spotted, but uh, that means there is a destroyer either over there at that island somewhere, or uh, somewhere in the center. So you should usually be something around that island unless the enemy team went all the way uh, to the other side. Okay, there's Yaka. Uh, I've got HE loaded because I was just expecting destroyers to come in, so I got a couple shots all out, but then I'm switch over to the AP because uh, there's an Ibuki. And now, <laughs> that's a Japanese cruiser, but it's, I, it's a Jap Japanese kit tier 9, so let's see what we can do at 7 kilometers range. Yes, we can, a couple overpens, couple semi pens, but uh, I would have expected a little bit more. Anyway, um, time to slow down, get a couple more shots out at the Ibuki. And um, because we have enemy destroyers in the B cup, so we need we need we're holding A. A is firm, but we need to contest B cup. Now that's kind of what the cruisers are for. But I don't want to rush any more further out, and uh, we're expecting there to be um, to be destroyer as destroyers and torpedoes out there. The, the two enemy battleships, those two need to go down, obviously. We're just, we're, we're just trying to uh, take care of the Buki. Okay, Neptune takes out um, our Yugumo. So we one destroyer down, but uh, they lose the Ibuki, and that means it's just these two battleships. There's a Gasconia and uh, an Isumo. So now we can move forward again. 
because the destroyers are kind of uh, battling it out in in B cup and um, we can what we, what we'll try to do is we'll try to hold these two battleships down over there and again this is something you you can actually tank well not in a, in, a, in the meaning that you can actually get hit by these in this ship but you can tank just such that that you can uh, you can draw fire and and make it ineffective more or less because most of the shots are going to miss so I'm, I'm just i'm just running forward here i'm trying to get towards the next island to um to keep my side clear from any torpedoes that come out of b cap and um we do need to make something happen though so i'm gonna try and, and circle around because i don't want to be here uh being torpedo bait for for whatever is in in the cup which means I have to give broadside a little bit and uh, maneuver a little bit to not have the Izumo blood me out of the water. But at this at this distance, it shouldn't be that bad. And you see the amount of bounces I'm getting, the amount of semi pens I'm getting. Uh, the guns are okay, but at this distance, they're not great. So we're just looping around here. Now our team has has pushed the enemy destroyers out of B cap, which means that I just want to keep I just want to keep drawing fire here from. Uh, from these ships. The dispersion is at this range a little bit questionable but now I'm, all, I'm around the island, I'm clear of the island, I can go bow in again and um, I'll see if I can throw the aim off of that Izumo for a little bit. This is where the uh, this is where the um, uh, propulsion mod comes in really useful. Yeah, now we got a couple, we got eight good, hit, good hits in on the Izumo, big target, but um, at this range even though it's a Japanese battleship, uh, she, she, the three eighties are a bit uh, struggling a little bit. So moving forward again, we're at about half health. We've taken a bit of beating. We've done about thirty thousand damage, which is not bad. And we have, uh, we still have one rapid reload left. So I've got the Izumo back in, in range. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use that, trying to hit, uh, trying to hit her on the uh, between the turrets there. A little bit more to the right because she's in reverse. Okay, Roma, you're on full health, so you're gonna be doing the tanking. And I'm just going to unload on the Izumo over there because he seems to be uh, firmly con uh, convinced that he needs to kill me first. But he's overshooting. And uh, I'm just going to use the Roma here as a, as a shield uh, because I, I am proper quick. She makes, uh, she makes over 35 knots easily with the engine boost active. And together we should be able to whittle this Izumo down. But uh, the enemy team's lost anyway. The rest of the, our team has cleaned up pretty, pretty nicely. There we go, finally. Citadel hit. This is um, now we're starting to get into ranges where we can do something, and uh, let's see if we just get another salvo off here, lead it a little bit, and aiming towards the deck here. Uh, she's just out of secondary range, but um, yeah, she's still shooting at me. That that's why you uh, that's where you can um, you you can use your your positioning such that you can get your guns on target. Can I get that kill? Probably not. Someone else is gonna kill her, right? Uh, yeah, who's got shot? Right. Okay, the Roma had shots out. Okay. Okay, that that would that went well relatively quickly, but we've done sixty thousand damage, and this is what I would expect as well in say Richelieu. But um, you you've seen. So you you can you can do these things if you're top tier. And have I would I have have I done significantly better than I would have in a Richelieu? No, I would have been able to do pretty much the exact same thing in a Richelieu even without the reload booster. So this for this really is a tier nine Richelieu. Uh, the reload booster is a nice thing, but um, it's it's not deciding in a battle. The guns are a bit meh at this tier, and if you start if you start shooting at uh, tier ten ships. Uh, she, she really does uh, start to struggle to get to get a good penetrations. So you need to get closer. You still have the speed. You still have the positioning advantage, but um, and you can get yourself into flanking positions where you can do uh, can do a lot of damage. But again, personally, uh, I like the Richelieu better, just because she's on a lower tier, and I think that single reload booster skill is not uh, big enough of a judge uh, of a justification. To, to, to up tier this to tier 9. Because again, it makes a difference between getting into tier 7 and tier 10 battles, right? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. If you have the Richelieu, she, I think she's definitely not worth it because she is, by, well, for all intents and purposes, the Richelieu. If you don't have the Richelieu and you really want a Richelieu-like ship and you, you think you're up for the challenge and you want to make her work at tier 9, by all means and purposes, go for it. 
Personally, uh, I've got my Richelieu in my private account and I'm probably going to stick with it. <laughs> so uh, that's that. Now, I hope that helps you a bit. And um, if you see one out there, you kind of know what they can do and what they can't do. So good luck to you. That's it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.